Today we are going to look at <coughs> what are common basis transactions the security administrator would use. Um, first transaction we are going to look at is slash n sm21. So this transaction is basically looking at system logs. So for example, if you see a consistent problem, a user not able to log in or user being disconnected. One of the things you can do is you can come to this transaction and then read the system log. Okay. Read the system log. And if you see some kind of error like database error, see here, you will see a lot of red marks, which means there's a database database error accessing some information. So uh, this will this is this will indicate there is a problem. And then you can basically talk to the basis guy to try and fix the problem. Okay. So this is a good transaction to look for. When there is a when there is a frequent problem, right? Next transaction is going to be slash n s t. Okay, so here uh, this is basically a short dump. All the short dumps which are occurring in the system are recorded here. So let's say, for example, we want to look at all the short dumps for the last one year. Okay, let's look at them. So we see some of the short dumps here. Okay, all these are short dumps, meaning the program did not properly ex fully execute. Let's double click on one of the short dumps. <coughs> so what is the thing you need to look for here? Uh, the thing you need to look for here is you keep going down till you see this error. This till you see this line here, current line. This is where. Uh, the program is short dumping or this is where it's coming and having a problem or hiccup so so you can basically search uh, oss nodes or any google uh, based on this statement and then you will be able to figure out what is the problem okay. the next transaction we are going to look at is slash n s m 51 okay so this will show you <coughs> Uh, number of app servers available within the system. So number of app servers within the system. So this will be useful. Let's say for example you are doing a trace and you want to be in the same app server as the user is in. Like uh, let's say for example you have 10 app servers and you are working for a big client and there's 10 app servers and you need to make sure you are logged into the same app server where the user is logged in so that you can trace it. So the simple you can log into the app server by just double click on it. You will be uh, you will be able to log into that particular app server. Okay. Next transaction we are going to look at is slash n sm. So this is fifty one. Slash n sm fifty. So this will show you all the batch processes, all the processes in the system. So you'll see update process, you'll see uh, NQ process, you'll see a spool process, you'll see a dialog process. Okay. Let's say you are running a batch job and you are having issues with a batch job. So now you know uh, this is a background process. So you need to go and look whichever background process you want to look. You just look, highlight that and click on this button. So you will see you are in dev 11 that's the process you are looking at that is this log is relevant to that particular work process right this log is relevant to that particular work process so you see a lot of red errors so you, you need to make sure you are in the right time zone and then you just look for the error okay okay next to transaction is slash n sm04 Slash n SM04. So this will give you the number of users who are currently logged on. This will give you the number of users who are currently logged on. You can click on the user and then say user log off. Or okay, you can make him log off. So if you want him to be you want him to be logged off, you can just log him off from the system. So transaction is SM04. Next tra transaction is slash n SM. So this will show you all the logs which are currently on, all the logs which are if the some, some program was 
some uh, transaction is hanging up you can see why it is because it is locking some cable okay. it's locking some cable and it's getting hanged up it's better not to delete the lock because there is a lot of other uh, activities which are related to the lock so it is better not to delete the lock but just to wait or if needs to be done it needs to be done by a basis person okay the last transaction we are going to look at is slash n al08 al08 this shows you the list of users by app server so for example if when you are doing a trace one of the things you need to figure out is where the user which app server the user is logged on right? so for that what you can do is you need to come to al08 and look at the app server where the user is logged on once you have an idea where is log once you have the uh, uh, information where he is logged on, you need to go to SM51 and then log into that particular server. Log into that particular server. Okay. So, one more transaction slash in AL11. Slash in AL11. So, this transaction so shows you uh, all the uh, file systems within the system. file system. All the file systems uh, within the SAP server. All the file it shows you the all the Unix file servers. Okay. So one more transaction is slash n db02. Slash n db02. This shows you the amount of table spaces. Okay. This will just show you amount of table spaces. So this is not the task of a security administrator. But it's good to know uh, what is the extent of the table spaces and what are what is how much is storage space available. Okay. Thanks for watching.